the worst is beyond the 11th hour to um, have any hope of saving the world, saving human civilization as we know it. We see what's happening right now in the floods. We know there are still people homeless from the bushfires and we want to hold this industry to account. I'm so sick of like watching news reports of mega fires and billions of animals being killed. We realistically may only have three or four years to reduce greenhouse emissions so that we are able to stop uncontrollable climate change. For this, you gotta get rid of that. There is nothing left for us other than acts of civil disobedience for our politicians and the corporates to finally understand that we are in an emergency and we need to act as if we are in an emergency. There is no time left. Scientists used to talk behind closed doors about how scared they are. We know now what the future holds. The next three or four years, as one of them says, Sir David King, is going to determine the fate of humanity. Devastating floods, massive bushfires, extreme weather events. We can't stand around any longer. I'm embarrassed on the world stage that Australia is still not joining in these agreements, these accords, or doing anything at all. Extinction Rebellion is really our last best hope, forcing the political change that the science demands. It requires civil disobedience to get, the, to get things to shift. Um, and if things don't shift, we're going to be having 50 degree days in Melbourne. Um, I feel a moral responsibility to my child and to all children, the youth, and especially to the people who are already suffering. I just think there's never been a more important time that people like you and I, just ordinary everyday citizens, really stand up for you know, the climate. This company epitomises the greed and the destruction and the deception that has got us here in the first place. They've caused so much harm. I'm here because ExxonMobil made 55 billion 698 million 347,633 dollars last year and paid zero tax. I want to be exonerated. Oil gets you for that. This is the planet calling. Thank you. Bye. Especially after seeing the floods and the radical change in the climate, I'm ready to do something about it. I'm really scared of what's going to happen in the future. I'm scared when 2050 rolls around, if we're even going to be alive at that time. And I would love to live a long and happy, healthy life, but I don't think I or my community is going to have that ability if we don't make it stop right now. Climate, climate emergency is the single biggest issue that not just my generation, but every generation is going to have a face. I feel like I don't have any choice. We've got so little time to uh, convince our, all our governments to act to stop this climate emergency in its tracks. I've um, just become more aware of what's happening around me and I don't want to ignore it and I want to do something about it. We're pushing the earth into a new state and we don't know what we'll find in it. The climate and ecological emergency that we face yeah. is just out of control. These people just do not want to stop. So we're taking taking action in this campaign. Just stop oil. Just stop it. I want you to dismobilize this mobile, this mobile mobile that's destroying our planet. So let's act at once.